So the first of the week's really big ones next, and it's the Champion Hurdle. And a big feel for this this year. And at the top we've got Baltic Dragoon for Graham Clitterbuck, Dominion of Darkness for Joshua Sutherland, First Strike, David Hooley, Fifth Obey, Darren Thompson, Kingdom of Colour, Joshua Sutherland, Kinvara, Windmill, Marty Lidham, Mar Descanecido for Leon Van Rensburg. That one was supreme last year, so keep an eye on that one. Angel of Darkness, Paul Rhodes, Ashura, Posh, David Robertson, China Girl, Alex Cherry, Dark Shadows, Leon Van Rensburg. First Reward, David Hooley, Ozark Muse for Vinnie Gerard, presenting Ondi, David Robertson, and Schiller Park, Darren Thompson. So 15 then facing the starter, and away they go in the champion hurdle. Making their way towards the first of the eight flights they're going to negotiate in this. They sorted themselves out, see who's going to take the lead. Nothing seems to be all that keen, and now Angel of Darkness has decided to take the race by the scruff of the neck and leads into the first flight, gets over it nicely and scampers three lengths clear of Schiller Park. So it's Angel of Darkness for Paul Rhodes and in the lead. From Schiller Park for Darren Thompson in second. Darren Thompson's also got the early back marker in fifth obey. It's Angel of Darkness who leads. From Schiller Park. And last season Supreme winner Mark Descanecido. Ozark Muses after that one. And then China Girl and Ashura of Potion presenting Ondi. With Kingdom of Colour after that one. As they race up past the stands and take this flight, that'll be the last on the next circuit. They're all safely over the first two. And Angel of Darkness is bowling along in the lead for Paul Rhodes, leading by about three. China Girl is moved through into second. The David Robertson pair a third and fourth. Ashura Posh and then wider on the track presenting Ondi. Schiller Park is next on the inside rail. Then Mardes going to see down Dominion of Darkness. With first reward and first strike almost running together. The main body of the field is pretty tightly packed. King Vara Windmill just about the back marker. But it's Angel of Darkness who's the leader. That one's clear by four. The rest of them are covered by no more than five or six lengths. But it's, shoot, it's Angel of Darkness into the third. We're in the lead. From Mar Descanecido and presenting Ondi. And China Girl and the Orange Sleeves behind them. Ashura Posh is next. Then making a forward move is Kingdom of Colour. Dominion of Darkness on the inside. Looks like Dark Shadows is going to go quite wide on the track. Final strike and Ozark Muse have now dropped towards the back with Kinvara Windmill, but they're still plenty close enough as they come to the fourth. It's the midway point in the jumping dunk. They've only got just over seven furlongs still to race, though. They've still got to take but four more flights. And Angel of Darkness is too clear. Of Kingdom of Colour has now come through in a second. Ashura Posh is third. First reward and Mar Descanecido. And next, these are being chased by Schiller Park, Dark Shadows, Dominion of Darkness, and China Girl. And presenting Ondi just being given the hurry up as they get over the fifth. And over that one it was Kingdom of Colour who jumped into the lead from Ashura Posh. First reward, Angel of Darkness now. Knocked back into third, trying to battle back. But looks to be still going well enough. Maybe the jockey just giving that one a bit of a breather as they start the swing towards home then. They've still got two more flights to take. And it's Kingdom of Colour who's in the lead. Kingdom of Colour from Ashura Posh on the inside. Angel of Darkness closest to us. Gap of two lengths then to Mardesk and Acido and first reward. Then comes Dominion of Darkness and Dark Shadows. That's the third last they've just got over. And it's Angel of Darkness who's just got back into the lead. Ashura Posh on the inside. Mardesk and Acido on the outside. Kingdom of Colour is fourth, then presenting Ondi. China Girl running a big race around the outside. Fifth Obey is trying to run on. They're over the second last now. Then a Mar Descanecido and Angel of Darkness. From in third, Ashura Posh. Then comes Kingdom of Colour, presenting on these next. Fifth Obey is going to look for a split on the inside. He's going to need a little bit of luck in running. First reward and final strike to try to get going. So too is Ozark News. Dark Shadows with work to do. They're racing towards the final flight. Then a Mar Descanecido has hit the front. Mar Descanecido lands in the lead, but out jumped by Kingdom of Colour. Ashura Posh comes between the two. Fifth Obey and First Strike now come around the outside. And it's the First Strike might have got up to take it. Ooh, it's a very, very short running in the champion hurdle. And it almost catches me out because that winning post seems to come up really quick after that last flight. And I've got a feeling David Hooley might have done it again. He certainly got a share of it at least. It was a dead heat last season between David Hooley and somebody else, but he's taken it all by himself this year. First strike for David Hooley wins the champion hurdle. Ashura a posh for David Robertson was second. What a big race that one's run. Third place was Fifth Obey for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Darren Thompson again with Schiller Park and Kingdom of Colour for Joshua Sutherland was fifth. Mardes Canacido ended up back in sixth. 
And first strike for David Hooley. So he's only been in three of the four races that we've had so far at this Cheltenham Festival. And he's won them all.